Robin. I met Rob in 95, right before he got married. Mm. And uh, I love Rob. I, I I got along. We got along like this, like peas and carrots. Um, mm -hmm. And Todd, too, was really cool. But I didn't know Todd so much. So I was kind of in the gym, Lee and Mark Silvestri. I was closest with Mark Cam. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember because like Mark Cyber Frog number one sold like a million and a half copies. Mm. And Ooh, also right around that time, oh, was it yeah right around that time too was the uh, mark and rob falling out so well, yeah i got blamed for that bro oh how did <laughs> oh, you get dude. blamed for it let me put my sunglasses on for that one so That's okay so mark, time. All right, so here's what i heard all right so <laughs> so okay so brad foxhoven who was the president of top cow uh was roommates with michael turner so Witchblade comes out. This is now, this is 96, early 96 or so. And Mark, you know, uh, uh, Michael Turner is Mark's golden goose right now. You know, Mark's had mm -hmm. a pull up. Mark was still doing Cyber Force, I think. He was starting to develop the darkness with Brian Haberlin. And he was doing covers. But, you know, when you run, I mean, they would, I don't know, they were probably putting out 10 books a month, those guys, you know. You know, top cow alone, but so but Turner was the he was the golden goose. He was the guy which blade which debuted and she saw in side blade she by the way. <laughs> Booyah. Wow. Um, anyway, so uh, uh, Rob called Mark Silvestri. I'm sorry, M Rob called Michael Turner's house, his apartment, and left a message saying, "Listen, why don't you come over to us? I'll pay you." I think Michael Turner was making no shit forty grand an issue to to pencil mm. Witchblade. That's how crazy the numbers were for all all of us back then. And yeah. he said, "I'll pay you fifty grand in an issue." Wow! But what oh, he, but what Rob didn't know, and again, I'm just hearing this all secondhand. What Rob Rob didn't know is that Brad Foxhoven is roommates with with Michael Turner, and and Brad Foxhoven gets the message. Tells Mark, right? Now Mark's pissed off, and then he leaves the image. Now Mark and I mm -hmm. might have had a conversation about this. He might have asked me my opinion about this. And, um, you know, I'm like, I'm not getting involved in you guys' stuff, but that's pretty fucked up. So Mark leaves image. Mark left image and started mm -hmm. Top Cat Productions, got his own deal with Diamond. And I, I, so I remember I'm at the Marriott. I stay at the Marriott every year, just about at San Diego. I think that two years I didn't stay, and one of the years is I got in that big brawl um, outside the hotel at the Westin. So I'm walking in the lobby of the Marriott, and who comes walking towards me is Scott. I'm sorry, is Todd and Rob looking right at me, and I'm like, "What's nice. up, boys?" Like, and now this is '96, so she is just exploding, right? So I'm mm -hmm. like a kind of a power player back you know i'm a player back then you know like people mm -hmm. would ask me advice and i just put out this big book and we've been nominated for awards and and uh Todd's like, can we, can we, i gotta talk to you can we talk to you billy can we have we have to talk i'm like yeah sure come up to my room because i'll take i'll tag on both these guys <laughs> God <laughs> damn. no no it was, so we get the, we sat on the bed and stuff like that and i told him like that's messed up i said i'm only hearing what brad told me and what mark told me and I'm like, listen, you guys, I said, I got enough problems of my own. You know, I'm doing my own stuff. I'm just a little guy here, um, which is funny, too, because when you book successful, they don't realize how small you are. You know, like they don't realize it's just me <laughs> doing all this mm -hmm. stuff. I'm doing everything. You know, I got a one bedroom apartment. I've, I, I end up renting renting the whole brownstone. It was a three story brownstone. If people know New York, it's a just attached building, you know, house or whatever. And um so I got a, a small crew, maybe, I don't know, four people w working with me and freelancers and stuff. But these are this is Todd McFarlane and Rob Liefeld. You yeah. know, talking to me on my bed in my room. You know, they're on one bed, I'm on the other. We're not all mm -hmm. in the same bed. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's not weird like that, guys. It's not weird like that, but I actually would have been a lot more fun. You guys weren't all laying next to each other under the covers. You're just right? laying down or, you know, eating well, chips. Tell me about your at, real you're feelings. Looking, you're looking at submissions like, what do you think of this guy? Submission, Todd. He's like, that guy sucks. Fuck him. No, that's that, probably my work. That yeah. was John. That was no. real old John Malin. No, so, uh, and we talked and stuff like that. I'm like, dude, I don't know, but that's fucked up. You guys got to handle your own shit, man. This is really weird. And then Todd's like, you know, Billy, you're a good guy. You're a good guy. You keep getting your books out. You keep doing what you're doing. 
and I think we hugged each other, and and that was mm. it. But I'm like, dude, wait, so they just wanted your opinion on the? No, I think they were pissed off at me. They think everyone thought I'm the one who told Sylvester to leave Image, which I mm. didn't. Yeah. I did not. I did not tell him that. I'm like, I don't want to get involved. But it was so funny. And then I was talking to somebody, it might have been Jimmy. Jimmy's like, dude, they really value like your opinion. Like you don't, re- your books are really popular, so you're kind of like. You know, like I was in the Wizard Top Ten, you know, like the artists, mm-hmm. the white, all this crap. And they're like, no, you kind of, you got to grow. You got to understand that you're like, you're like somebody now. It's not you two years ago when you're, you know, starving, eating noodles and noodles every yeah. day. Yeah. So, when Todd uh, McFarlane and Rob Liefeld are in your my hotel room. room. Yeah. Ooh. In my hotel room, naked. <laughs> Whoa, well, I thought it wasn't weird like that. No, it, it yeah. wasn't weird. You tell us weird. every time you tell us the truth, another mm-hmm. article of clothing comes off. Mm. No, nah, but it was good. It was. I just. It was. I found it so so intriguing to be thrown and thrust in the middle of these giants. You know, mm-hmm. it was like King Kong versus Godzilla, and there I am in the helicopter flying around them. But they all think I'm the one that's that started the fight between them, and they both want to kill me. Now, had you met any either of them at that point, Rob or uh, yes, I had, yes, uh, I had, yeah, I, yeah, I had met them. Mark introduced me to them, and uh, John Nee and uh, Jim. So I did meet them all. Because the cool thing with me though, John, is that I came out of nowhere, but I had my own book, right? Mm-hmm. So I did not. I'm probably one of the f- few people they met that was like a peer, I guess, that I became a peer. Yeah, didn't need anything from them. Right. I don't need from fucking you. I, I'm like, holy mm-hmm. shit, you're Tom McFarlane. You're awesome. You know, thank you for yeah. the inspiration. But um, you want a beer? What are you drinking? You know, that's how I was, you know? And yeah. so, so I, got I wonder to- how that conversation would have went if you would have been like, yeah, I told. Yeah, I was the that's one who did it. That's right. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it, ah. Canadian guy? You blew it, Canada yeah. guy. It's all your fault. No, Rob but, uh, probably would have been the muscle, I guess, right? I think Rob was ready to jack me up. Yeah. They were planning to beat you up in your hotel room and then you like just charmed them so much. You're like, oh, never mind. Well, that's just it. I don't I don't know about Todd, but you know, it, Rob's known for you know an explosive temper. I've heard, so, I've heard that, but yeah. I did not know that about him. But I I'm, mm-hmm. I'm ready. I was ready. I was young. Yeah. Well, back then for sure, definitely. You know, ninety five. Yeah. Then I was an animal though. I was nuts. Yeah, I think you guys were all animals back then. I mean, yeah. holy shit. I mean, the money was rolling in, the the media attention was phenomenal. It was a really, really great time for comics. Yeah. So